If we don't maintain our balance, we cannot maintain our power. We have to be on balance to, in fact, be powerful. Now, how do you go about generating power? Well, first of all, you have to use your whole body. Unlike a firearm technique where you just point a gun at someone and you pull the trigger, you don't have to really be intense, you don't have to be rapid, you don't have to really want to do this technique. But when you're doing an unarmed confrontational drill, if you do a forearm strike, for instance, you've got to really want to do it. It's got to be rapid, it's got to be intense. You've got to really have your mindset ready to go, go for it. And if it's not there, it's not going to work. So you have to generate power, first by your mindset and then by your body, by generating power through your body. Jim, could you come out for a second? Now, what we're going to do is show you a way of generating power in terms of a drill developed by Mike Nakamura of the FBI. Now, very simply, what we're going to show you is that every part of your body can be used to generate power. We'll use an impact weapon first and then the forearms as an example. Now, what we're going to do here is look at this situation and see that just with my fingers, just by grasping my fingers, I generate some level of power. By using my wrist, I can generate even more power. By using my elbow, I can generate even more power. By using my shoulder, I can generate even more power. By using my hips, I can generate even more power. By using my knee and actually pushing off my front foot, I can generate even more power. By step and dragging in just a little bit, I can generate even more power. And finally, by raising or lowering my center just a little bit, and this came out lower a little bit, just by dropping down a little bit, as I strike, I can generate even more power. Now, what does this have to do?